हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज अर्पिता त्रिपाठी वेलकमिंग यू ऑल टू माय चैनल एंड योर वेरी ओन लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म द वर्ल्ड ऑफ केमिस्ट्री टुडे आई विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग माय डिस्कशन फ्रॉम द लास्ट टॉपिक एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर सो कीप वाचिंग एंड टू नो माय लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स डू द नीडफुल द पॉइंट्स दैट आई विल बी फोकसिंग टुडे आर आई विल बी रिवाइजिंग द रिव्यूज गिवन बाय जॉन डेल्टन अबाउट एटम इन हिज थ्योरी I'll be discussing few points on the discovery of pro- electrons, discovery of protons, properties of anode rays and finally the properties of protons. So let's proceed. In the early 19th century an English chemist John Dalton stated clearly his ideas regarding atoms. He was the first person to give out atomic theory in 1803. and this theory is known as dalton's atomic theory the concept that he gave about atom was atoms are the smallest indivisible particle of an element that takes part in a chemical reaction so can we recall according to dalton what is an atom yes everything is composed of atoms which are the indivisible building blocks of matter and can't be destroyed what are the properties of an atom according to dalton according to him he imagined an atom as solid massy hard impenetrable and movable particle what are the postulates of dalton's atomic theory the postulates are matter is composed of microscopic particles called atoms atoms are indivisible which can neither be created nor be destroyed atoms of an element are identical and so on but as the modern day scientists didn't believed the fact that atoms are indivisible so they tried by their experiments to find out what actually the atom is made up of and cathode rays were discovered during the discharge tube experiments which were done for studying passage of electricity through gases at low pressure by william crookes the credit of studying cathode rays goes to sir j j thomson an english physicist the properties of cathode rays are as follows cathode rays originate from cathode cathode rays travel in straight line they are deflected by electric and magnetic field these rays consist of the material particles and finally cathode rays consist of the negatively charged particles called electrons and hence concluded that electrons are negatively charged and common constituents of all atoms of the elements but as it was already known that atoms are electrically neutral so this suggests that if negatively charged electrons are present in an atom then there must be some positively charged particles to neutralize the negative charge of the electrons and this thought led to the discovery of protons goldstein a german physicist in 1886 did experiments with discharge tubes containing a perforated cathode shows that some rays are moving in the opposite direction of the cathode rays and these rays were called as anode rays the discharge tube taken was specially designed by goldstein so now let's see the experimental setup that he used for his experiment the setup was exactly same as cathode ray tube experiment done by j j thomson leaving few exceptionals This is the modified discharge tube connected with a vacuum pump. The vacuum pump helps to maintain a low pressure of gas. At both sides two metallic strips of electrodes were present 
which were connected with a high voltage battery this is the negative side and this is the positive side of the source of battery the electrode connected to the negative side of the battery is cathode and electrode connected to the positive side source of the battery is anode here is the change in comparison to the cathode ray tube experiment the anode taken was perforated but in this experiment the cathode has been perforated and the walls of the tube behind the cathode was coated with zinc sulfide a fluorescent material when a high voltage was applied across the electrodes in the discharge tube a faint red glow was observed behind the perforated cathode glow was due to another set of rays flowing opposite to that of the cathode rays when additional electric field was introduced it was observed that the rays deflected towards the negative plate from this it was concluded that the rays itself is positively charged and because it was emerging from anode so it was named as anode rays these rays have also been called canal rays because they have passed through the holes or canals present in the perforated cathode now let's see how the visual impact was when the high voltage is applied to the tube its electric field accelerates the small number of ions always present in the gas which are created by in the natural process these collide with the atoms of the gas knocking electrons off and creating more positive ions the positive ions are all attracted to the negative cathode and some of them passed through the holes in the cathode these are anode rays by the time they reach the cathode the ions have accelerated to a high speed and gained lots of energy so in order to return to their own energy level the molecules release extra energy and this energy gets emitted as light and when additional electric field is brought the positive rays gets attracted towards the negative plate now let's see the properties of anode rays anode rays travel in straight lines that is they cast shadows of the objects placed in their path anode rays can produce mechanical effect that is they can rotate a light pedal wheel placed in their path and anode rays are positively charged as they deflect towards the negative plate of an additional electric field now let's see the properties of protons a proton is a positively charged particle a proton is an integral part of an atom the charge to mass ratio of proton is not fixed it is because different gases have different types of positive rays which contain particles of different mass and charge so the ratio varies the nature of anode rays depends on the gas which is taken in the discharge tube as these rays are produced from them the charge on a proton is equal in magnitude to the charge of on an electron 
that is 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb but opposite in nature and sign which means the charge on an electron is found to be minus 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and that of proton is plus 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. So I hope this part of the chapter is well understood by all. Thank you.